when I was growing up, there was not very many people from other countries here in Fargo. In the last few decades, the refugee community really started to take off. People used to joke, in the refugee camp, they ask you if you know anyone in the U.S., and if you say no, they send you to Fargo. <laughs> but yeah, there is a lot of shock. I came to America eight years ago when war started in Ukraine. Of course, I was afraid for my family there. My sister, she's a single mom and she has a child with special needs. She needs care like nobody else. So I start to search how I can help them. When America opened the borders for Ukraine, I was able to go and pick them up. It's a big decision, taking life from one country where you never live and go to a country where you never have been. Це було велике страх, тому що ти не знаєш, що очікує тебе попереду, тому що не знаючи мови, не знаючи людей, не знаючи культури, не знаєш, що тебе очікує в іншій країні. І того було дуже ну, таке двояке відчуття і дуже великий страх перед майбутнім. I saw scaredness in her eyes through all flights, and I told her, just breathe, just breathe, everything will be fine. But I was kind of lying to her, <laughs> sorry for that because I was happy to bring her here, but I didn't know what to do next here. So a uh, call that I made changed the whole situation. I will never forget when Courtney answered my call and she said, yeah, you found the right person. The Refugee Health Department at Family Healthcare is the first people the refugees usually see in healthcare when they come. Yulia? trying to harm you. A healthcare system is a big faceless entity usually, but I become that face that you know is there for you. Family healthcare, they understand what people are going through. After this call, everything laid down in place. Hello, Julia. Yes. Hey, I'm Dr. Spiegel. When the refugees come here, they feel happy for short periods of time. The effects of trauma still there. Once you settle, then that's it with a lot of symptoms of depression and anxiety start. I come from a violent country. So one of the things really that is fundamental in recovery from trauma is to have a purpose. And they are my purpose. I never thought that one day I would be a refugee with my family on the other side of the globe. However, migration makes people stronger. People might be wary of people from other cultures, but the community becomes better because of diverse perspectives. It's really lovely just to get to see their journey, finding ways to cope, and not only just cope and survive, but thrive. I think they have a lot of things to teach us about endurance, about hope, about community. They have a lot of gifts and talents that we just need to give them an opportunity to share with us. Of course, I'm happy. <laughs> I'm happy that she's here to take a hug. When she came, she had so much depression and she never smiled. Right now, she's smiling. And I might not say to her often about this, but I really, when I see her smile, I see her eyes uh, shiny. <laughs> I, I love it. I love that she's here. I love that she can see this world a little bit in different form than what in Ukraine. Thank you. <laughs>